Hello everyone, welcome to this video lecture. In this video, I am going to tell you how to solve this programming assignment 2 of week 3 in uh, hardware modeling using Verilog assignment. So here they have given the question like this. Write a Verilog module to implement 8-bit shift register with parallel load using D flip-flops which is designed earlier uh, which is designed in the programming assignment 1 as a building block. The register will be loaded with the new data by using an active high signal called load and two operations to be done for shifting right arithmetic shift has to be done and left logical shift has to be done and these two operations on register data will be performed by using the corresponding active high shift signals like ASR for arithmetic shift uh, right and LSL for logical shift left okay and the register data will be cleared by using an active high signal that is clear and all the register operations will be performed in synchronous manner with respect to the clock signal is concerned. Here also they have given the module parameters such as since it is a 8 bit shift register they have asked to design here the input signal IN should be 8 bit and 1 bit clock 1 bit LD for loading the data and 1 bit arithmetic shift right input uh, signal that is ASR and 1 bit logical left shift signal that is LSL and 1 bit clear signal that is CLR and output will be obviously 8 bit that is why we need to declare OOT out of 8 bits. So now let us see how actually we can uh, write a code for that. See here I have using the same module which we have designed in the assignment uh, programming assignment 1 for the D flip flop ok. They have asked to use this D flip flop module and instantiate in the uh, 8 bit uh, shift register module ok. And also uh, they have given the module uh, definition like this for the shift register. Let me use the same. So here I am writing the code for the shift register. Module register 8 bit is the name of the module. OUT out, IN in, clock, LD for load, uh, load signal, ASR for uh, arithmetic right shift, LSL for uh, uh, logical left shift, and CLR. Okay. First, let me declare all output and input parameters. I am declaring output, I am declaring it as a register. Uh, since it is a 8 bit register, I need to take 7 down to 0, OUT out. Okay. And then uh, only one output here. So the remaining things are input. Let me declare input 7 down to 0 IN first. That is my input to be loaded. And then input clock signal as CLK. And then LD that is also a single bit one and then they have given a s r for right shift and l s l for left shift logical and also clr these are all single bit inputs so i can declare here in the single uh, input declaration and then we need to use d flip flops they have asked to write the code for 8 bit shift register using uh, D flip flops that's why I'm going to instantiate DFF by giving the name as D naught for the first D flip flop. I need to instantiate D flip flop eight times since uh, it is a eight bit register. Okay. And first I am going to take out of seven comma uh, let me take input seven to load into output seven. Here you can observe in place of Q I am writing out of 7, in place of D I am writing in of 7. Similarly I need to write clock signal here and then in place of reset I can use clear. Okay, This is what the D flip flop module I am supposed to use and I need to use it 8 times that's why I am just copying and pasting here 8 times and then I am going to edit that. Okay, uh, now 
this is 7 let me take it as 6 this is 5 this is 4 this is 3 this is 2 and this is 1 and then 0 so it makes 8 bit output similarly input as 7 then for this 6 5 4 3 2 1 and then 0 for this okay now so the instantiation of uh, d flip flop is over now now i can write the logic for the shifting operation so always at positive edge of clock pause edg pause edge clock in the positive edge of the clock our shift register is to behave as per our requirement and that begin we need to start with uh, if clear if the clear signal is 1 they have uh, given the condition that if clear signal is 1 our output should be goes 0 so output should be equal to 0 okay and then I am using else if uh, if load signal is 1 now I am checking whether load signal is 1 or not if load signal is 1 I need to load my output uh, which is loaded here so let me take it as one more wire 7 is to 0 uh, temporary output I am taking here temp out so let me take the temp out here also uh, this is the temporary output I am taking the output of D flip flop is the temporary output and once the load signal is 1 I am loading that to the temporary output to the final output okay here also okay so I am taking the temporary output register here as uh, 7 is to 0 and I am using that for the D flip flop output okay so when the load signal is 1 I am using out is equal to uh, this temp underscore out okay now when the load signal is 1 it is loading into the um, output okay before that we can also use in place of clock we can use load signal here also uh, so since this D flip flop will be uh, operating in the positive edge of clock itself since we are instantiating that we can use load here so whenever load is 1 then only our D flip flops are going to take the inputs IN1, IN2, IN3 and they are loading that to the temporary register so once all the uh, loading is done all the flip flops are going to get the value of IN0 to IN7 so temporary load register is going to fill with the value and then uh, that value will be available at the output when clear is equal to 0 uh, clear is equal to 1 output will be 0 when clear is equal to 0 this temporary output will be available at output okay then I need to check uh, else if what actually my ASR is ASR is arithmetic shift right so when ASR is equal to 1 what I need to do I need to assign out is equal to out right shift arithmetic right shift this is the operator for arithmetic right uh, three times the arrow indicating the arithmetic right operation in very long so one time they have not specified the how many number of times the shift has to be taken that's why by default we are taking it as one so else if suppose my left shift LSL left shift uh, signal is 1 output will go out uh, left shift by 1 this is logical left shift for logical left we need to use this kind of operator for uh, right shift with arithmetic right shift we need to use this operator okay and then we need to use else here at the end of uh, if we need to use else output will be same as output if there is no shifting operation is going to be carried out if there is no load signal if there is no clear signal 
and by default output will be same as output so here i am ending this module uh, always block and then end module this is how we can write a code uh, for this shift register okay by using d flip flop let me run this code i need to uh, save this as draft first and then i am going to compile it and then we can submit if all the four cases are true and here they have given the inputs as first uh, input is xx load 0 asr 0 lsl 0 clear is 1 output should be this and when it is loaded with the input like this uh, when ld is equal to 1 output should be like this and when input is all zeros and uh, asr uh, is 1 means my previous output will be stored in the flip-flop and when this signal is 1 it should take a right shift by keeping the uh, msb as it is that is the arithmetic right shift that's why this bit is shifted over here and msb is as it is retained that is the right shift and when lsl is equal to 1 this is logical left shift this will be shifted logically to the left uh, place okay i need to run this code now so first let me save this uh, and i am running it compile and run uh, okay it gives some error that is in line 24 okay so while instantiating the d flip flop modules the instance name we need to give differently the first instance name can be d naught then I am making it as d1, d2, d3, let it be d4, d5, d6 and then d7. So if if you have uh, given it as uh, same, it will uh, throw an error. That is what actually the error I got. So let me save it again and then compile and run. Now you can observe the output uh, for the first case when uh, all the things are zero it is passed and in the second case we are loading it is also passed in the third case the left shift it is passed and when the right shift uh, asr is equal to one it is showing an error right uh, or it is showing it as a wrong answer but the thing is uh, i don't know why actually it is showing like this uh, you just submit it as it is and after the submission also it will show uh, the status of those four cases so if i submit and test it is showing the case 3 is also passed okay i guess the compiler is giving some wrong uh, result for the right arithmetic shift since they have given only the right uh, arithmetic shift over there the compiler i don't know why it is giving the wrong uh, output like that